Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of open number lines, how we can use them to locate numbers, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So this is an open number line. It's a number line that's got nothing on it. In most number lines they'll have little tick marks, they'll already have some boundary numbers up there. Open number lines start with nothing and they're useful because students can use them to solve a variety of problems. So first, let's see how we can use an, an open number line to order some numbers. So let's say we have 23, we have 47, we have 19, and then we've got 52. So how can we put those numbers in order? And in this case, we're going to go from least to greatest. So I'll put least over here. And then I'll put greatest over here. Well, an open number line is blank, but it doesn't stay blank for long. Our job is to use it as a tool to help with this particular problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of some boundary numbers. What are some numbers that it looks like uh, all of these four numbers fall between? So if I want, I can, uh, I can just put maybe 0 to 100. So I know that my numbers fall between 0 and 100. So those are my boundary numbers. So what I can do is I can I can put a little halfway tick mark here. And I could put a 50. And so now I've taken my open number line and now it makes a little bit more sense because I've got a few different reference points here. And so I need to think of these numbers. How can I put these numbers? And I want to make sure that I put them close to the numbers they're supposed to be. Like look at this right here, this 52. 52 is just a bit above 50. So I'm going to put 52 right there. My smallest number is 19. And then 23 is pretty close to it. So I'm going to put my 19 right around here. And then I need to put my 23 really close to it. So what's left is this 47. And the 47 is going to be very close to 50, but it's just going to be on the left side of 50. So I'm going to put my 47. And what this does is this shows me how close numbers are to each other. So 19 and 23 are both pretty close to each other. They only have a difference of 4. 47 and 52 are very close to each other. They only have a difference of 5. It wouldn't make sense to put 52 up here. That wouldn't make any sense because it's going to be very close to 50, not close to 100. Let's look how we can use open number lines to solve other types of problems. Open number lines can also be used for addition and subtraction problems. So right here we have a simple problem. Find the number that is 134 more than 97. So I'm going to start with my 97. And I'm going to take jumps forward. I'm going to use my place value knowledge. I'm going to go by my hundreds and then my tens and then my ones. So I'm going to take a big jump forward. And that's going to be 100 more. I'm going to add 100. So I take the hundreds digit, which in this case is not there, it's a zero. I'm going to just simply add one. So instead of 0, 9, 7, I'm going to have 1, 9, 7. Now I'm going to take my tens digit, 3 which means I'm going to take three hops of 10. So I'm going to take one, two, and then three. And I can put little dots here to make sure I grab them. Plus 10. So 197 plus 10. We'll think of this as a 19. What's one more than 19 is going to be 20. So 197 plus 10 is going to be 207. Add another 10. 217, because 10 more than 20 is 21. And add another 10. I've got 227. Now I'm almost there. What I have left are four little tiny hops. One, two, three, four. And each of them are plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So you do them individually. And I'm going to take my 227. I'm just going to add one. So I've got 228. I've got 229. I've got 230. And now I've got 231. So the number that is 134 more than 97 is 231.